For this build you need all six parts of the Shadow's Mantle set. A Traveler's Pledge with the Compass Rose. Strong Arm Braces because the Knockup Rune from Vault affects it. Chain of Shadows for free Vault. Convention of Elements for massive damage boost. Holy Point Shot and Carolace Point. As for the elemental damage on your gear, you can go either cold or lightning damage. Lightning is preferred unless you're in season. Carlay's point is easy to get. You forge a rare level 70 dagger and upgrade it in cube. Demon hunters can only drop two legendary daggers. Dawn, Aquila Curas and Elusive Ring in Kane's cube. The ring is interchangeable with convention of elements. Gems, Bane of the Trapped, Bane of the Powerful and Gogok of Swiftness. Alternatively, you can use Pain Enchancer. For skills, Impale with Ricochet or Overpenetration if you aim for the Cold Element. Vengeance with the Dark Heart Rune, Fan of Knives, Bladed Armor, Vault with Rattling Roll, Wolf Companion for the Damage Boost. Shadow Power has all the runes thanks to the set. Passives, Ambush, Numbing Traps, Call the Weak, Awareness. For speed farming, I'd recommend you rather check the multi-shot Unhallowed Essence build in the description below. But you can change one of your rings to Everest Band with the Boon of the Horde and Gold Wrap. Thanks to the Season 16 team, you can interchange the gloves for a Frost Burn for more cold damage. For a 4-man group, you want to maximize your damage output. Well, the Kuni's braces, a witching hour, and change tumble to ward. You also want to change awareness for single out.